All right, guys, what is back? Maryland Fishing Finest. Well, I'm out here on the Bush River at the train bridge that I'm able to fish, and it is beautiful this morning. It's about 7 o'clock. There's absolutely no waves, nothing. A bunch of new buoys. I was here last week in last week's video, and those buoys were not there. This is a bunch of new buoys, this thing. I don't know. I got some fresh golden shiners that I caught yesterday. I put them in my fish tank, and they're alive now. I got three of them, so we're probably going to cut them up, use them for catfish bait, and then I'm going to throw a worm with, I mean, a small rod with a worm. So, and Evan is also coming, and he's got plenty of golden shiner and stuff. So, I will get back to you guys when I got some fish. All right, guys, back here. Just had our first pull on the golden shiner. See if we can land this sucker. He just pulled pretty hard. Alright, I guess he dropped it. Or something. I have no clue. Get this big mess of mono out of here. I had a bell on the rod and it wasn't going off and when I threw out the other rod and set the other one down I saw odd sounding bird alright well I'll get back to you guys if he picks it up again alright guys he's on the second I turned off the camera he picked the bait back up Oh yeah, big old channel cat, big old channel cat too, that's a good one, alright, first catfish, 2017, big ugly channel, he took the bait pretty hard I will say, for this size fish, he definitely took the bait very hard. Using a whole golden shiner with a circle hook. Oh. oh, that's a big fat channel. That is a big catfish for not casting out really far. Perfect hook set with the circle hook. Alright, cut bait is where it's at today. They're here. I know what I'm going to be doing now. Just rigged this rod up last night. I found it in my shed. It's a pretty good rod. Got my new KVD pliers going to test out right now. That's what I got it for, was catfishing. Wipe off the camera. Okay, that's someone's boat wake, as you can tell. All right, uh, that rod right there has worm out. My buddy Evan is coming soon with a bunch of cut bait, so that'll be good. All right, let's get a weight on this guy, actually, for fun. I think he weighs about three or four pounds. This is pretty, it was probably my PB. All right, guys, back here. Got the scale to finally work on this beautiful channel cat. It's getting weighed. Now that I got the scale, I just unplugged the batteries and it popped right on. 
All right, this is probably about three pounds, like I said. 211, not bad. Two pounds, 11 ounces, PB cat for this year. First one, too. Now, let's say bye-bye, Mr. Fish. Not get down in the water so he can just sit here. Let's go, bro. And there he goes. Clean release of that big old chitin' cat. Got the other rod out with worm. Just talked to Evan. He's coming with plenty of cut bait. So that's what we're going to be throwing next here. Now I got to find the back to my... Oh, here it is. Back to my scale. All right. I will get back to you guys with some more fish, hopefully. Peace out. Oh my god, just had a big one get off. He just purely pulled the hook. Oh my god. Second after turning the camera off, something big just took this shiner. And I mean big. Holy cow. Alright, I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, I'm going to try to leave the camera on. I only got 20 minutes of battery. I mean 20 minutes of uh, filming left. So I'm not going to try to run it a whole lot. Because I know we're going to be catching a lot lately. But uh, this worm rod has been out forever. I've gotten three bites on this. On the shiner. On the left rod on cut bait. Within like 10 or 15. Within, no, probably within like 2 or 3 minutes of it being in there. And then the worm hasn't got touched, so I'll get back to you guys when we got another one. Alright, we are on we are on the other rod. Actually. I have no clue what this is. Oh my god, we're almost Jesus. I have no clue what that just was. That thing was huge. I still got this one on now. This one's getting taken out again. Oh, it surfaced. Looks like a blue cat. Yeah, I have, I don't know if you can see that, but I have no clue what just happened to that rock. This, this looks like a blue catfish. Yeah, it does. That's a blue catfish? In the Bush River? I mean, I want to take some pictures, but I'm almost 100% sure this is a blue catfish. Or it's a white. I think it, it definitely... Looks like a blue cat than a white, though. And then I gotta probably put another piece of shiner on that one, cause God, the rod, the whole rod just came out. Holy cow! I've never seen that. There must be some big channels down there to do that. All right, I'm gonna get a picture of or two of this. Really. Odd looking catfish. My buddy caught one last year that looked just like this. Can you get a picture? Alright guys, back here. Just got another one. Evan just got here. Went to go get him and left the rod out. Came back and the rod was trying to jump off. Here we go. Nice little release. Oh, go the other way. Alright. There he goes. I'll get back to you guys. Yeah. I'll get back to you guys when we got some more. Alright guys. Back here with Evan. First cast with the worm and this giant flat I mean not flathead. Channel cat just grabbed this bait. This sucker's old too. It's a big channel cat. It's probably my PB without a doubt. 
Ow. Ooh. Bottom hook every time. Nah, just leave it there. Dude, look how big his tail is. Yeah, he's a nice one. He's, how big his tail is. Nah, look at his belly. He's not that skinny. I, wish I, had a scale. I do have a scale. It's right there. It's blue. It's probably like three pounds, three and a half. You turn it on. Yeah, it'll turn. The scale is pretty accurate, too. All right, well, that was a fail. Got that on video. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, and it's only fe it's only February. Okay. Okay, this this one. Four. Four pounds. Four ounces. We're gonna say. Biggest cat of the year. PB. Nice February blue cat. Yeah. February channel. Yeah. On a worm. <laughs> Alright, let's get the release. This big. Up, oh, up. Oh. And he's gone. Alright, we'll get back to you with some more fish. Yeah. Alright guys, back here. Just had something pick up the golden shiner and uh well let's just say it's not a catfish. It's a big rockfish. It. No. It's a big rockfish. Yeah, this this is this is odd. The head of a golden shiner. I knew it was not a catfish when it went running. Yeah, that's a fat. That's a big. That's a toad. That's probably a 25 incher. <laughs> oh no, he didn't swallow it. Didn't. Nope, it's sitting right. All right, we're gonna save this one. God, get the scale. We're waiting this sucker. Dude, he he didn't get gut hooked by like the skin of his teeth. All right, I'll get back to you guys when we release this fish. Lift it up. It literally that stick's not gonna break it. Here, I'll grab the grab the thing. That's one way to do it. Yeah, that's what mine looked like, but a lot bigger. Yeah, that's a bolt. That's, that's a white. That's a like a white catfish. I don't know. We were using golden shiners earlier. And they were working great. So, yep. Catching rockfish in uh, February at the Bush River. Definitely didn't think that was going to happen. All right.